Well going everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rory, your host, and this is the Rusty Cook Network. So today's episode, uh, I'm gonna be reviewing um, a Dollarama hot sauce. Now, actually my boss at work, um, you know, he's a huge um, hot sauce fanatic, and um, he brought this to work the other day, and um, I was shocked, because I didn't even know how, um, Dollarama made hot sauces. So um, I went out yesterday and got mine, and um, yeah man, this is what I'm gonna be doing a little review on. You know, I love my wings, so. What's better? What, what other better way to um, you know review some hot sauce? Anyway, stay tuned, and we're gonna uh, see what this is like. Have a good one. All right, guys. So here I got the wings, some fried wings, Cajun style, and then the hot sauce, that Dollarama. Now, obviously, you can tell I've been having some since. Uh, Two days ago since I had it and I ain't gonna lie guys I'm loving it but um, nevertheless I'm um, gonna do the review on it so this is it now apparently out of five they would say you know it's a level four out of five that's how hot it is and then there's that Dollarama signature right there but um yeah let's get into it I'm gonna get a wing here nice Cajun wing some hot sauce Some people only put like a dab or two. Listen man, if your wing ain't got sauce like that all over it, dripping, then you ain't really having no hot sauce. Mm. I'm gonna have a little bit more. That's how much I, I enjoy the sauce. And one for a dollar, I'm not gonna lie, you can't go wrong. Presentation, I love it. Over a 10. I give it a, yeah, it's a little spicy, but that's good. That's what you want. It's hot sauce, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So presentation wise, on a 10, I would give it a, I give it a seven. I like the, the look of it and all that, you know, um, the sauce itself, the color of it, you know, vibrant, um, typical hot sauce, you know, it's a little runny, but you know, it is still good. All right. Like I said, for me, when it comes to hot sauce, I like a little more chunkiness, but for what it is, um, you know, I think it's good. I mean, flavor wise, out of 10, I would give it 7.5. Heat wise, you know what, everything, I would give it a 7.5. Um, and that's actually good, because I mean, coming from Dollarama store, you know what I mean? Like, you would expect Dollarama making their own hot sauce, and in my opinion, it's not bad when you turn the taste. In terms of heat, it's good, and like I said, even presentation-wise, I like the how the bottle looks. So, all around, I give it a 7.5. Um, I'm gonna go back again, um, Dollarama, and see if they have any other more hot sauces there, and um, you know, do some more reviews. But yeah, I definitely think you guys should try it. You know, if you guys are here in Canada, or I'm not sure in the states if they have, um, you know, if Dollarama have their own hot sauce. I'm sure they probably do. But yeah, man, if you're in Canada, Dollarama, and you love hot sauce, especially Caribbean people, you, you can't go wrong with this one. Um, you guys know I've done um, other reviews on other hot sauces before. So they got a friend who came back from Trinidad and um, yeah, he brought me this one. And as you can tell, it's still a lot more in there and I've had this for like months now. The thing is, it's hot, um, but there's not much flavor to it. You know what I mean? So I'm not really drawn to eat it on a regular. And then this one now from Trinidad. This one's a little more, um, more flavor than that one I just showed you. Um, heat wise it's hot but you know um, I still need a more balance you know to me it's more hot than flavorful so I need a, a, a good balance of heat and flavor and then my number one right now from Trinidad you know um, Bertie's you know look at this look at that yeah I'm almost done I'm just really basically trying to save the last bit in there but the thing is um lucky for me um, that I can get it on Amazon and I'm just gonna order um, another bottle probably a bigger one but right now you know my go-to is the um, Dollarama hot sauce I'm loving it you know and um, I recommend you guys go out and try it I mean here's the thing too when it comes to hot sauces not all hot sauces go with everything some hot sauce only go with wings and some go with tacos and whatnot like example where this one right here I love this from with my breakfast when it comes to eggs bacon you know what I mean that kind of stuff and eat and then obviously my tacos I love this hot sauce right here this is what I go for um, why because it's not too hot um, it's more of a it's more flavorful than hot than heat if you, if, you, if that makes sense you know what I mean because 
when it comes to my breakfast, my eggs and uh, my tacos, I don't want too much of a spicy. I just want just a little hint, but more flavorful when it comes to the sauce. You know what I mean? And so this is my go-to for breakfast and um, tacos, stuff like that. And then, you know, just about uh, when it comes to my, you know, rice and peas and, you know, um, fried chicken and whatnot. I love my Berties. Um, and then, you know, just discovered a newly Dollarama hot sauce. So, you know, loving it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have other hot sauces. I got like Grace, um, you know, um, hot sauce, you know, Scotch bonnet hot sauce, which I love. But ever since I came across, my friend brought this one for me. I've been in love with it. And now this one. So, do recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And um, stay tuned. Have a good one, guys. Bye.